So after years of begging for a Dia invite, I finally got one. What is Dia? It's basically the browser company's new browser. They basically said fuck you to Arc and went all in on this AI hype train. So yeah, here's a quick review about it. So when you first open the browser, it looks like this. It looks really similar to ChatGPT. Like if you compare the two, they look really similar. So first off, when you ask it a question, there's two options. The default option is chat, which uses ChatGPT, and the second option is actually just Google. So when you click ChatGPT, this ChatGPT slash perplexity thing opens up and it just tells you, it just answers using ChatGPT. Yeah, nothing really crazy here. And then like perplexity or ChatGPT, you can look at the sources, you can look at the websites it pulled the information from. And the second option is just a normal Google search, which we're all pretty much used to. But let's go ahead and say I'm reading these two tabs, but for some reason, my TikTok brain, I, I don't really want to read them, I just want to compare them. So I'll go ahead and open a new tab, and you can actually reference those tabs in ChatGPT. So as you can see here, I told chat to compare the two tabs I referenced, and yeah, it makes a nice little summary from those two tabs. I don't think the technology behind this is too revolutionary, but I do think the way they implemented AI to where you can reference multiple tabs that are open is pretty nice, especially if you're like a student or you want to do like some research. Now the last feature of this browser is the side tab you can open. It's really similar to Microsoft Edge where it's basically like a co-pilot and you can just ask it questions about the current page you have open. So here is like a nice little summary it generated uh, of this current article. Also, if you don't like the way chat responds, you can personalize Dia. Here it asks you some questions like who do you look up to, um, whether you want it to be bullet points, paragraphs, or descriptive, uh, more casual or formal, and you can even add some like instructions at the end. So yeah, this browser is definitely very different from Arc. I think it's pretty obvious they're going for the AI route here, um, whether it's to please like investors or maybe they think AI is the future. It's definitely less special than Arc. I think Arc was something that a lot of people really liked just because of like how customizable it was and personal it felt. But um, I don't think this is horrible. I think there's a lot of cool things you can do with this. So right here I'm comparing the prices of like two Pokemon cards. And I think there's a lot of good use cases for this browser. So yeah, what do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. Um, and thanks for watching.